my golden rule you'll hear me say this all the time in my videos you must know your numbers so prior to even getting involved buying a policy i i really encourage recommend advise that you know your financial numbers you know the current position that you are in right and i have a personal method once i know my numbers and i'm going to come up with a particular funding amount to put towards a whole life insurance contract to exercise practice the infinite banking concept right we need to know what that net cash flow is at the end of the month typically i will take that number i times it by 12 so I know how much free net cash flow is available in an entire year. As it relates to funding a whole life insurance contract, you have the flexibility of funding it all at once or spacing it out over 12 month monthly payments. So I look at my net cash flow times 12, and then I times that number by two thirds, 66%. Anything below two thirds of my net cash flow per year, free cash flow, this is available, right? That hasn't been purposed yet in your personal finances i will design a policy for myself for my clients based on that number below right so i can maybe go 50 percent, 25 percent, 10 percent, whatever it is that's like the range so the highest i'm going to go is two-thirds preferably for me because i may have other potential uses for that cash flow at a later point in time that i want to be available and not get all locked up in a life insurance policy right knowing that that's like one of my rules and i use that same rule those who've been following me for a while I use that same rule as it relates to the velocity banking concept when we're leveraging debt right i typically don't like to leverage more than two-thirds of the available credit limit in my line of credit whether that be a credit card a p-lock or a heloc so i use the same thing as it, as it relates to capital now if you're in a particular situation if you have existing savings maybe an emergency fund of ten thousand dollars maybe on top of your net cash flow per month, you've already incorporated in your expenses that you save $500 a month. So that's six grand a year. I'm gonna count that towards the concept, right? And simply say, okay, instead of saving money in this vehicle in a traditional savings account or even high yield savings or money market or checking or cash, under your mattress, we can repurpose that location, transition those savings dollars into a whole life insurance contract. So on top of cash flow times 12 times two thirds, we can also incorporate savings. And that's how you would come up with a, say a higher funding amount, a higher number. But if you're in a position where you're not saving money, you're not investing, you don't have a whole lot of cash flow. Okay. I have a particular framework as, as it relates to who would qualify for this particular strategy.